Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today with great joy, the Church celebrates the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity, where we celebrate the amazing reality that we worship one God and three persons, an unfathomable mystery that we'll only fully appreciate when we see God face to face in heaven. And so as we prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. With the two tablets of stone in his hands, Moses went up the mountain of Sinai in the early morning as the Lord had commanded him. And the Lord descended in the form of a cloud, and Moses stood with him there. He called on the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, Lord, Lord, a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. And Moses bowed down to the ground at once and worshipped. If I have indeed won your favour, Lord, he said, let my Lord come with us, I beg. True, they are a headstrong people, but for forgive us our faults and our sins and adopt us as your heritage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless, Lord God of our Father. 
Father's glory and praise forever. Bless your glorious holy name. Glory. Blessed in the temple of your glory, glory and praise forever. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. Glory and praise forever. You are blessed who gaze into the dead. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, we wish you happiness. Try to grow perfect. Help one another. Be united, live in peace, and the love of God in peace will be with you. Greet one another with the holy kiss. All the saints send you greetings. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity is one of the most beautiful feast days in the church's year. It's also one of the most daunting to preach about. In fact, every priest comes to the pulpit in fear and trepidation on the day of the Holy Trinity because they're scared they're going to say something incorrect in talking about one of the deepest and most stupendous mysteries of our faith, that we worship, we know, we love one God, but that one God is a unity of a trinity of three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three divine persons united in an eternal communion of life-giving love. It is impossible to know the trinity by human reason alone. Human reason can arrive at the fact that there is one God, but who that God is has to ultimately be revealed by God himself. And throughout sacred scripture, God gradually shows himself to be a unity of three divine persons in one Godhead. God the Father shows his very heart, indeed his very self, through the gift of his Son. And the work of redemption wrought by his Son is continued throughout history through the personified love between the Father and the Son, who is God the Holy Spirit. 
as we contemplate this mystery, it should only encourage us, indeed make our hearts burn with more longing to be able to see God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit face to face in heaven. But while we're here on earth, we're not left without signs of this trinity in unity. The greatest sign, and indeed the greatest icon that we have onto the internal or interior life of God is the human family, and indeed the Christian family. Husband and wife who commit themselves to each other for life to form a communion of persons in life-giving love. Indeed, we as men and women, as human beings, we do not simply drop out of the sky, but are called to come into being precisely in this communion of life-giving love. And so the greatest window we have back onto God, even more than the priesthood and the religious life, is actually the love of husband and wife and children. And when we look at it this way, we have to marvel and give thanks to God that we are the way we are because God is a trinity. Let us now profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us pray to the God who sustains all life for our needs and for those of the world. That the Church, baptized into the life of the triune God, promote the unity of humanity. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. The governments and assemblies of elected representatives act with compassion for the common good. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who sin against humanity repent of their choices and embrace reconciliation, justice, and restitution. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died receive the reward of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, giver of every good gift, receive the prayers we offer you this day. Strengthen us in faith and spirit that we might be united as one people. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Oh. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark de Batista. I want to thank you for your support. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you.